ourselves. Just like a six pack of cheap Yiddish beer. Doesn't surprise me. You look like a typical low life character to me. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Dancing with the devil, she's got liquor in her veins, broken halo, a rebel. She's I, uh, a I've been playing this. this. Three, well, hell, I played it a, three or four times, you know, uh, last week, and I've been playing a hell out of it today. It's with Buck Cherry. It's Moonshine Bandits. It gets released today. It's called Wild. Uh, it's about that crazy bitch that you just really hate to see go, but you hang on too long to, and uh, it ends up being a problem. But let me get uh, let me get the Moonshine Bandits uh, uh, on the on the on all mic'd up and, and ready to go. Um, what's up, fellas? How are you? Good. How you doing, man? We're happy to be on. Thank you. What uh, up, Bubba? Uh, I got uh, Bird and and I got Text, better known as Dusty and Brett. Um, yep. I think this is. I think this might be the first time I've ever had you guys on. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you know, I think we. I think we were talking once. I guess this was years ago about trying to do something with you. Uh, and I think that we didn't wind up going out to Tampa. Are you in Tampa, right? Yeah, we're in Tampa. Yeah. And Florida so, is pro- Florida is probably pretty – this is, you know, hip hop and the stuff that you guys yeah. did, did, and you guys are kind of – I don't know if you guys get near the credit for it, but in 03, when you guys got started doing this stuff, uh, there, yeah. this this was – you guys were way ahead of the of, of the uh, curve, and I don't know necessarily you get the credit for that, but I, Florida is kind of a big – is that kind of a it's, – it's a big sell for that type of genre, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, I think we've done some mud bogs out there. There's about five, ten thousand rednecks out there with no rules, just drinking and driving ATVs. So, yeah, yeah, it's a big, it's a big market out yeah, there. That and also too in Florida, there's all the all the different bike weeks. You got Daytona Bike Week, which kind of, you know, there's a lot of this tra- translates uh, well with each other. You know, from mud bogs to bikers, they kind of interact a lot in a lot of different ways, which. You would think it wouldn't be that way, but it really is. That should be your next album, Mud Bugs to Bikers and everything in between, <laughs> and, and, bad, and Bad Bitches in Between. That's what it should yeah, be. That's right, uh, uh, yeah, right. Anyway, your new album, Poor Decisions, it features, I think you got Afro Man on there. You got Buck Cherry on there. You got my buddy Chris from, from Tech Nine on there. You got, yeah. uh, I think, Brandon uh, Hart on there. You guys got a bunch of people on there, and that drops, I think, what, in a month? Yep, yep. Comes out July, July 17th, I think. And you're t- I got to tell you real quick about Afro Man, right? <laughs> so, like, this guy, not only is he running for president, right? You know what I mean? He made his big announcement. But he is the coolest, coolest motherfucker you're ever going to talk to. But he actually did the song with us. And then he shot Dusty a text message, like, two months later said, Hey, did we ever do that song? He forgot because he was so high. Because he was so high, <laughs> and then he's like, "I forgot I did a song with y'all." Can you guys tell me how that song turned out, or what it's about? What's the lyrics? What was my part? What did I say? Bro, they just bong rip, and you know what I mean. Box wine. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, that guy. If you anything moonshine bandits wise, or their main website is moonshinebandits.com. Now they got they got their own whiskey. Uh, it's bucked up whiskey. That also, I think, feeds into their 501c3 that helps, uh, you know, that helps veterans and things like that out. Twitter, moonshine underscore bandits. Instagram, the same. And then YouTube. Who in the hell came? Why didn't you guys make YouTube moonshine underscore bandits? Who came up with the with the shiner stuff? Well, uh, our fans, we kind of branded them as Shiner Nation. And oh, okay. So shows, you how, shows you how stupid yeah. I am. I didn't do my research. Damn it. No, nah, so it's sorry. all good. So straight out the gate, we were doing that, and then we just called it Shiner TV. And you guys, listen, off. I know the algorithms and what you and, and like you know cost per click and all that stupid stuff. And I see that you guys got. I don't mind even. I don't even want to hear y'all pluck crying poor mouth because I know you got two hundred million views. I know what kind of money you're making, bitches. Independently, well, not not beholden to any record label. It's such. It's so. It's so refreshing. People were freaked out in the industry when it was like conventionally it used to have to be where you had to have a record label. They had to call a radio station. The radio station had to play you. That was a whole crap show in its show. Who can kiss that most ass? And, you know, if you weren't a Tim McGraw or you won't, you know, you weren't a guy like that, you weren't going to get played and you had no really underswell of support or to monetize. And you used to make an album 
and then you would support that album through touring. Now right. you tour to support the album. Touring's where the money is, and you're not beholden to a record label. You can do it all, and I think you guys have been doing it pretty much all kind of outlaw on your own. And I think you yeah. guys are one of the very first. Well, Tech Nine, I think, might have been like he's like on the Mount Rushmore of doing that. But I think you guys right. kind of that's kind of how you guys roll. I think. Yeah, I mean, we had a few people's hands in the cookie jar in the beginning. We went through the record label thing, but uh, now we're doing it ourselves. And, you know, bikinis in your videos equals views, right? Right. <laughs> well, well, we also, we learn. Well, good you know, music. Good learn. good music equals views. And the bikinis are a kicker. Let's be honest. If you guys music yeah, su- right. if your music sucked, it didn't matter how many bikinis are in there. You guys put, a, put together some good stuff. Thank you. Thanks, man. Yeah. How is the Buck Cherry guy? We've had him in a few times, and what a great, what a great group, and what a great dude. Right. You know, I got to tell you, man. Uh, I from from being able to talk to Josh, uh, one of my very first concerts I ever paid for back with my first ex fiance. We went to Vegas, and it was like our breakup. But I already bought the trip. But we had to go there anyway, so she. We didn't and, even and you see had and you had and you had guaranteed ass, so you couldn't like. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Know, so yeah. it's like you know, I so can't. We, yeah, so we went. Uh, we went to Buck Cherry. That was like my first one. I was able to afford and do a trip and all that back in my early twenties. And I was talking to Josh about that. We were laughing about it and stuff. But you know, I'll tell you what, that guy is. He is so humble. He, I feel, I feel like he doesn't even realize how big they are. You but, know what I'm saying? But like, that's what. But monster. that kind of what's. That's what the kind of the the lure of this guy is. Buck Cherry. Yeah. I don't even know well, how many right. how many albums they've sold, but and and they right. they're so right. and it's so and their their rock is so refreshingly different right. and just got a, and his and his vocals just cut through. And yep. and it, and it's yeah. and, it, and I'll tell you how cool he is. You know, he's hanging out with 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 bozos like you. I'm telling you, <laughs> right? You know, not <laughs> yeah. only that, I had, my, I had my son out there in L.A. when we filmed the video. He turned 16 with me, and Josh took the time to hang out with him and like just make him feel comfortable and and like just experience the whole day. It was so cool. And he wound up putting a, a, a photo of me and my son and him up on his uh, on his Instagram, which is really really cool, man. So. Big yeah, your problem, son, your man. son Big could care less. Your son could care less about you, but man, he really likes that bug. She's like, man, my dad, whatever. Moonshine bandits, yeah, they yeah. suck. But man, I got, I got to get hang out with Buck Cherry. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we were talking about, we were yeah. talking, we were talking earlier about how you guys know Jelly Roll, and yeah. we had Jelly Roll. He just has exploded, and I'm not bringing Jelly Roll up as a comparison to you guys because you've been doing Jelly Roll type feeling content. 15 years before Jelly Roll has been doing it. Uh, but you guys have, uh, you know, you guys are friends of Jelly Roll and things like that. And we had him in here in 08 when he was doing like a 250. Was it 08? 2014. 2014. Oh, I'm sorry. 2014, yeah. which even makes it better and more yeah. more recent and still on, uh, doing like 300 seat venues. And, you know, then he, of course he explodes and we try to get a hold of him. And they're like, man, you know, Jelly Roll, you know, he sleeps till noon, then has like 10 bitches, and then he can't, you know, be doing radio <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, 2000, 2015, uh, Jelly was on tour with us, and he was in a little white van. He was opening up for us, and that's actually when he met his wife. They met they met at our concert in Las Vegas. So shout out to Jelly and Bunny. They're on the next stratosphere right now. Yeah, much love, man. You guys should be getting some points on the album, putting those two together. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. dude, you got <laughs> You turn on anything on YouTube, and all you see is Jelly and Bunny and Jelly and Bunny. That's all you going see. Here, going there, you know. But it's good. We love them. I mean, they're dude, they, they're such good for each other, and you can actually see the love between them. Everything they post. And, and, I, and I'm, listen, like, I'm not. I really, I'm not coming from a position of saying anything bad about the guy. I couldn't be any happier for him. He's just. Yeah. It's kind. He's kind of a breath of fresh air. With as judgmental as America is, as, as, as judgmental as America is, and if yeah. you don't have that look necessarily, that right. Miranda, that Miranda Lambert, Tim McGraw look, that you might not make it. And yeah. and neither yeah. one of you guys got that look. But anyway, <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> Je- Jelly Roll certainly doesn't got that look. And you know, the, yeah. uh, his his talent and his songs, America has em- has embraced him, and he's just killing it. And if you guys can right. put a good word in, for, hey man. 
Go on Bubba's show, Jelly Roll, you big headed mother effer. If you guys could do that for me. Yeah, go back. I think I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna text I'm gonna text his wife right now because Jelly don't carry a cell phone. Right. But, and you know, let's just be honest. Rich. Mama 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 makes the decisions and she is the keeper That's of the right. ass. So Yeah. <clears throat> now you guys right now, now in, in your tour that starts in July, you guys aren't making it down in Florida, I don't think, this time. No, we have we do have Florida in mind right now. So we we actually are doing touring different this year we started out like just doing sporadic shows and we did a five-week bus run but then we're doing another five-week bus run we're finally getting into canada i could finally get into canada finally and uh we're playing four shows up there and then we, they just added another four-week run in september october but it looks like it's going to be we want to be down there for bike week like uh, bike oh you guys Fest. would kill it so but right we and we play that we play the station bar and uh with phaedra over there they're gonna and, get the uh, daytona What's that? Let me. You're gonna get the full throttle saloon with your boy Jesse. Oh, did you know Jesse Dupree's one of my best friends? One of my really, be- yeah, really? one of my best yeah. friend. Yeah, that's great, man. That yeah, guy. Uh, it, now that guy is a showman. That guy yeah, is, is a showman. I don't know how he hasn't cut his leg off with that chainsaw. You know what I mean? He does that shit every day. And, you know. and, and 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 the octave. I mean, like he's got like a Brian Johnson, like and the scream that he's got. Hell yeah. One time in my at my old station in Tampa, we had a th- uh, an outdoor festival, and he, uh, Jackal was there, and Brian Johnson, who lives in Sarasota, not too far, drove up to the festival, and he got on stage with Jackal, and it was Jesse and Brian singing ACDC songs, and it yeah, was oh, it was it. just yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. You know who we also are friends with? Who I think you guys are uh, we're friends yeah. with? Colt Ford. Oh really? Oh, yeah. 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 Told so, homie. Yeah. yeah, you were just talking to him last night. Yeah, we we he just texted me last night saying how everything's going, man. We love Colt, man. Colt, man. He been um, in our we we've been working together for ten years, more than that, baby. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm you like, guys are with now. You guys are with. Are you guys still partnered with Average Average Joe? It isn't that kind of his deal, Average Joe. That's yeah, his label. So. Yeah. yeah, we were with him for three three records or four records, and we've been we've all, all went on kind of doing our own thing now. But you know we. We run into him all the time. Not all the time, but, you know, throughout the years and whatnot. And he's a, he's hey, one of those guys that's always on the highway, Bubba. He's, he's oh, stays I was, on the highway. I was just getting ready to say, he's a grinder. That son of a bitch is on the road, all the making money. I mean, just killing it. Yeah. He's always got a fancy pair of boots on. I'll give you that. You he know he does. I mean? but, <laughs> he does. Um, so what else is going on with you guys? So you guys, your new album, your new, the, the Wild with Buck Cherry hits today. And then I think there's also a new one too, isn't there? Another one. That there's, you... a, there's hometown. Uh, that that's the other uh, single we got. Right, hometown. Which is, it mixes it up a little. And then the one they did with Cold Ford, I believe, uh, was about a year ago. But uh, was it Red, White, and Booze? Yeah, man, that would be yeah, good yeah, for the Fourth of July. That 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 really that really pops. Yeah, that's the great all. thing about Red, White, Booze. I don't know if you guys saw that music video, yeah. but we got got John Daly in there doing a belly flop, but. Yeah. It's oh, crazy. John Daly! You need to you need to put John Daly in his own. Oh, he's he's crazy. He's from Clearwater. You know, he lives down here, and he is he's a trip. I love that guy. Oh man, I gotta tell you, dude, I had to pick him up for that video shoot here in Nashville. He he had his or in Nashville, we're in Myrtle Beach right now. Man, I walked in the bus and he's on the phone doing an interview. He got a cigarette in his hand. He got an ashtray over here, an ashtray over there. He got cigarettes going on both sides. He got the Championship chip trophy, and he's got the British Open trophy inside his bus. And he, I feel like he was drinking a vodka right there, man. That guy is party all day long. Dude. Oh, nonstop. The only time he doesn't party is, I think, when he's sleeping. Other than that, everything, right. everything's, but, everything's a party. But they say, you know, I started golfing because of John Daly, a little redneck kid from North Mississippi. I saw him winning the British Open, running down the fairway with a mullet. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. got behind that guy, you know, so. They say never meet your heroes, but he's one of the heroes now, I love to meet. Now, you know Tex, I mean? how good of a golfer are you? Bird? I am. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, Bird. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, man, I, I used to play in college. So, I mean, oh, I don't really? play that much. For real? Yeah, at Mississippi State, man. Oh, wow. Yeah. For, okay. for one easy. year until I drank myself out of school. I like to see I you go late, to. I, I like to see you to go I to Augusta. Late Tahoe last week. I like to see you go to Augusta and try to get a membership, looking the way you look now. <laughs> yeah, I just actually just get. A, I'd like to get within a hundred yards of that place. They would. They would say, "Let that freak out of here. No way. We can only yeah. have you know." 
So now, 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 Bird, you said earlier, I just picked up on this, that you're just now allowed in Canada. So does that mean Bird got hemmed up on some stuff and, and has just yeah. now got it cleared up where he can get into Canada? It got, it got cleared up actually about two years ago, uh, but I couldn't get in because of fucking COVID, you know, and right. I had to get over there with that. Hmm, I mean, I didn't know if I was supposed to. No, we got, a, we, we got a dump button. We're good, buddy. All right, cool, cool. Right on, man. I uh, couldn't get in because of that. But now, uh, you know, now we're all free and clear. I had a DUI back in the day, and uh, now a DUI will keep you out of Canada. Like a oh, felony. Even, even worse than that, they detained us for like two, three hours over there and put us with a bunch of fucking terrorists <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. Like, was it like now, oh, what, now? Was it a DUI in Canada? No, no, no. Nah. It's a DUI in our old hometown of California. Well, how and, does that? Uh, how does that? How does that matter about getting into Canada? <laughs> makes no sense. Yeah. Crazy. It's it's like it's like a felony to in Canada though. Here, I mean, I was I wasn't even. But moving. it didn't even I, happen. I I it, moving, did, it, it didn't even happen in their country. What what, yeah. what like what uh-huh. do they care about? They, because well, it's well, like you're a felon going in there. Better than that, Bubba though. Ask him what happened with his DUI when, uh, when, yeah. when he Tech, was arrested. Bird. I mean, that's great. Bird, what happened? Yeah, the cop. Yeah, the cop. The cops. Uh, I saw the police report from my my attorney. And now, he, are and you said, now are you looking like the way you're looking right now? What when they're when they're detaining you? Oh fuck! <laughs> I had my had my, had my Mohawk was all the way up, dude. You had your, you had <laughs> your, hold I on. You, that, you had your kid in play special. <laughs> yeah, you had, dude. Absolutely. I I read my I read my my attorney's like, hey, you want to hear the police report? And I'm like, sure. And I said, is there any way out of this? And he goes, no way. You're you're on the, you're hooked for this. And I'm like, okay. And I said, why is that? And he said, well. You pulled your vehicle over when they flashed you, and you jumped out of the vehicle with your hands in the air saying, don't shoot, don't shoot, I'm an American. That's what you Waving said. Waving my hands in the air. That's what I said to the cops. Yeah. And so then they came up. They knew I was hammered by the time they asked me. They said, you've been drinking? I said, I am. Uh, right. You know what I mean? Did, so, you, did, yeah, you, did you even do the field sobriety with the one-legged willy and the nine steps no turn around or no. any kind of I didn't even turn on a blood work, bro. I was so ham bone. I woke up the next morning. There was some border brother in my cell. He peed himself, man. And it was one of those days I ate a French toast stick and got all. Now, where was Tex? Now, Tex, where were you during this nonsense? <laughs> this is it. So I'm, 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 in, I'm asleep. It's like 3, 4 a.m. I wake up to a voicemail and he goes, on my voicemail, is like, you're the only phone call I had to make. I'm here with Officer Simpson and he's feeding me porridge. Get me out of here. You're probably the only. You're, you're probably the only number he remembers. He ca- that he has yeah, memorized. Like, like, you know, like, like you know, I don't know yeah, my. Yeah, I don't know yeah, my, yeah, my, yeah, my mom. <laughs> I wasn't calling her back then. You know what I mean? I was in my early twenties. So, uh, uh, yeah. it, it's uh, it's Bird and Tex, better known as the Moonshine Bandits. You guys, I think, did something with Chris, uh, and he is a really good friend of ours through Tech right. Nine. Tech Nine's been on our show a couple different times mm-hmm. and performed, and we were talking. Before we started the, uh, the, the got back on the air about just how talented Tech Nine is, and just how you know really the it, it, it's 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 people don't really understand the main mainstream America regular you know top forty or urban leaning radio the corporate bull crap you you'll never hear a Tech Nine record on there ever but he I don't know how many zillions I mean he's I mean he can he, he can live for the rest of his life or just on his youtube right. channel but that yeah. guy is so not appreciated for how talented he is and how and i think you guys i think you he gave you guys kind of a little break back in the day you guys opened up for him shout out to chris travis and tech uh one of the tech is one of the greatest live performers we've ever seen that's back right in, we opened for him back in uh Merced, Merced, California. Merced, Cali, yeah. it was one of when we very first got started doing uh live performances so like within our first couple of years we had a chance to be on stage with them and i was telling you this before the podcast bubba you know it's like when we saw him perform it changed me and dusty from then on out we were no longer musicians you had to make yourself become an entertainer. Right. You had to the crowd. And that guy, hands down, is the greatest entertainer I've ever been able to Him and Kid Rock. With. Him and Kid Rock. Kid Rock. Yes. Oh, Bob is Bob gets it too, does he not? Oh. Absolutely. So I mean, I'm just so I'm happy that I'm so lucky and fortunate that we had that opportunity to be with Tech way back in the day. And I'm sure he probably don't even know this. You know what I mean? But it influenced the way that me and Dusty do it and, 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 and again he doesn't get now you know kid rock probably gets the accolades of being a great entertainer because mainstream america for the most part has seen you know kid i mean yeah. kid's been 
he's been he's had number one rock you know he's but tech is as good if not even a tad better than bob and for the most part mainstream america doesn't really know anything about tech and doesn't god he's just again he's probably one of the greatest performers that's not yeah. ever really recognized as being yeah, as I good agree. as he really is I mean, I, one thing I remember is like, you know, during the Royals or in the World Series, he's back there behind home plate every day or every game for that. I thought oh, that he loves cool. he loves his Kansas you know? City, buddy. He, oh, yeah. he, he he wears Kansas City proud on on yeah. on his on, on yeah. his on his on his sleeve. When you see Tech, tell him we said hi because we're I mean, he, he yeah. what was that? What was that song called? Lummy that Tech did where he mentioned he actually comfortable. Meant, yep. Yeah, it's called there's a song that Tech did called Comfortable. And he said, if you're not Bubba the Love Sponge. And then two other radio personalities that he like. Uh, my, I'm not getting up early to do radio interviews unless you're Bubba the Love Sponge, uh, John, Johnny Dare, or, or somebody like that. Yeah, and, let's but, go. We're but, in the but studio tomorrow. Great. We're gonna have to plug you, Bob. Yeah, you know what? I, we're gonna have, we're gonna yeah, make a Bubba the Love Sponge. Song, song. I mean, make make a Bubba the Love Sponge song. You know, Come you know, on. you know, you know. You're talking about Full Throttle Saloon earlier. You know, our buddy Goat. He's over there. He's the MC at Full Throttle, right? Well, he came out on our last tour and MC the whole tour. And every time I talk to him, he always brings up, we put his name in a song, and he wants us he wants us to perform that song. And it's like not a live performance song, you know what I mean? But he's so proud of being mentioned in that song. He always brings it up. You guys going to Sturgis this year? Yeah, we play uh, Glencoe August 4th, uh, Full Throttle August 5th, and then Glencoe August 6th. So three shows. Yeah, man. And then you guys are going to try to make it down for Bike Week next, what, next February? Is it February, March? Uh, actually, we're trying to come in in October, I think. Bike, yeah, they got October Fest. Fest. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And we gotta I got get a you... condo out in Daytona, Bubba. You got How what? Far are you from da- I got a condo out in Daytona. We're about three. We're about three and a half hours, you know, over there from 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 well, there. You're gonna, have to, you're gonna have to come hang out with me. We we'll go to Ocean Deck and eat shrimp tacos. Bubba, they could come to your track, perform, and also watch some dirt racing. I got I got a I got a dirt track, uh, yeah. Bubba, Bubba Raceway Park, three eighths mile high bank dirt track. We could have you guys in concert and great have, place you know. to film yeah. a music video. Yeah, yeah, we should do we should do that, man. That'd be great. Get I you mean. and like maybe get Jesse and Jackal and yeah. can you imagine a moonshine? Listen, listen to this. The difference of uh, but but yet it's not it's different but it's not jackal moonshine bandits and tech nine would that be a hell of a show or what let's go let's do it uh, i'm ready that would be a hell of a show be awesome. now like like when when you guys first how do you look like a do you often look at your very first thing that you guys did i think it was what soggy crackers is that was your first yeah. thing do you yeah, look at sure. that do you do you look at that and see like like i i see homie shaking his head do you look at that and be like man we were so green and we didn't know what we were doing and we didn't know anything about the business and the business and you didn't know anything about the business, but the business has done a complete, you know, 180 as to what it used to be in 03. As far as now a guy can go out and do an independent deal and make more money but digitally distributing and touring than having to, you know, give like what, what, what's a record label deal? 30 points, 40 points. Like what do you, what do you get on back in the day? You get bent over is what you get. Yeah, <laughs> I heard. I heard that there's some of these record labels that do like these 365 deals where you're an up and coming artist. You know, they support you. They pay for everything, but they they pay you like eight hundred, nine hundred a week to tour. That's it. They get you. You know, your your band, and then they keep merch. They keep, you know digital rights they keep they keep everything and these up-and-coming people who don't really have and uh, you know have not established themselves are signing what they call these 365 deals and they're really breaking it off on these guys asses yeah i mean the, the best thing you could do right now is own your own masters and that's that's the biggest thing we went from the old demo days where we were handing out demos and like people were throwing them in the garbage because they didn't they didn't understand our sound so we had to go through all those learning curves till here we are. Now yeah. we got our own master. Hey, it's so. all about it's all about owning the publishing rights, and it's all right. about. It. I had Richard Marks in here one time, and <laughs> uh, yeah, and he was, and I was like, my, my my producers were like, we're gonna we're gonna book Richard Marks, and he's gonna be in studio, and I'm like, I, I don't know if I'm really into Richard Marks, you know, all that real wimpy ass stuff. But he was the biggest pimp. He was so yeah. cool. oh, he was so cool. Can't be hating on Richard I was, Marks. No, you know, I, was, I was just saying, I, I was just saying, man. I remember breaking in and catching my older brother <laughs> making out with his high school girlfriend in his Fiero 
You know what I mean, bro? But Richard back Marks in... playing Hazard yeah, County. Yeah, or some yeah. Richard crap. Marks is playing in the background, dude. And I used to love to sneak in there and listen to that CD, dude. Yeah, and so yeah. anyway, we had we we had him on, and we were talking, you know, and he's super cool, like really yeah. good dude. And then we, we got to talking about kind of the the, the money part of, of of the industry, and he's like, listen, the money isn't in the radio play, isn't necessarily, it's in the publishing. And he said, I call it mailbox money. And at that time, right. at that time, now he had written like three or four number one country songs for different artists that he owned the publishing rights to. He owned all the publishing rights to all of his hits. And he said, he told me privately, privately, that he did between eight and 10 million a year just in BMI ASCAP, you know, mailbox money. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, wow. I mean, again, doing it yourself, doing it your way uh, is the only way you can do it nowadays. You don't have to be, you don't even have to be on radio station one in order to become, yeah. to, in order to make a million bucks. You don't. You just got to have a good sound, a good YouTube channel, and a good touring a, a support system and some merch. And, yeah, and, and merch, merch, merch is half half the game, man. If you ain't got merch, hey, I need to send you guys. I need to send you guys some Bubba Army stuff, but I want some moonshine uh, bandit stuff that I wear on that I wear on TV. Yeah, so make, make a little note of that right now. We can get you now, I think out, now, right? aren't you guys boys with Head PE? Uh, they're on there. I think they're managed by us. We've done some shows with them. I personally, I, we don't know them too well. Did we now let yeah. me, was it the Cottonmouth Kings or was Cottonmouth it? Kings? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we the, the, That's the, yeah suburban the, noise. Yeah, those are our boys. Cottonmouth yeah. Kings. Yeah. Yeah. Tour with Cottonmouth Kings and ICP. 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 <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. A, like hey, ask ICP yeah. about Bubba the Love Sponge and right there, bitch, will be the ultimate validation as to how cool we are because they are will not do any radio but they come in and do our show cuz the last time they came in here we let we bought this local band that really really sucked and we let them take airsoft guns and shoot them off the stage ICP did <laughs> and they're like man yeah, ICP, ICP's helped us out a lot man they took us out on tour showed us out Showed us the merch game yeah. and everything. Uh, I mean, they bought all of our jerky and kept us afloat. Yeah, Violent J, he, <laughs> he is a big fan of our jerky. And we, 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 we got rid of it for a while. And when we brought it back, I sent over there to their office there. What is it, Farmington or Framingham? Yeah, yeah in Michigan. Illinois, outside, of, outside of Michigan, yeah. Sent it up there and, like, I, got, I get a response. And he was so proud, man. It had been a couple of years since he had it. So I hooked him up with like thirty or forty bags of the they're, shit. They're 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 great guys, man. They really yeah. are. But listen, they are. He's and he's actually they're one of the guys. If I want to text him, he'll hit me back. Oh yeah, you absolutely. Know what I mean? Like and they're and they're proud. And he's told me this. He's like, man, they're proud to see where we've come. And like, you know, we have to attribute part of that success, like Dusty said, to being able to go out with those guys and their professionalism on the road. Now they're they're wild and crazy, but you know what they are. Businessmen, they're entertainers, and they're, they're businessmen, and they're yeah. businessmen. And you know what? Absolutely. They're they're they they were doing it independent because you know, I mean they were the the right. bad the bad guys. They could never get yeah. a you know no regular record. You know CBS arrest. Nobody's going to sign right. those guys. And you know, and they go out and just straight kill it because they got a niche and they got a sound right. and they got a great following. And that's all you need. You don't need you know you just need a great following and a good sound like you guys do. And uh, and I I'm one I'm so happy that I got to meet you guys two I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna support all your stuff and three you mother effers better put some good words in for us with Jelly Roll and a couple Love others it. and four I want to see you guys uh, if you guys come down here in October. That okay. sounds good. Sounds good, and, man. And, you know, we'd love to we'd love to swing through the studios and maybe drop off some gifts. And you know, oh what I mean? yeah, can they bring that? So, uh, I mean, especially with our bucked up whiskey. Yeah, I was gonna say, on. can you bring some of that stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, bucked up whiskey. Man, it is. It's it's going crazy. Like we we had goals for our whiskey to be in California within the first two years and get it all over Cali. We're in fourteen states in two years now. No, no, no. Now be honest. Are you Gross. guys making some pretty good money on on the on the whiskey? I mean, it's nothing to get rich off right now, but the goal is to, you know, eventually you build a brand and then Jack Daniels comes in and buys you out. Yeah, that's so what you do. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what you make it. I mean, like, we go and do these bottle signings, and thank God for our, our fans. Our Shiners are great. We moved two pallets of whiskeys and 11 bottle signings on our last tour. Two pallets of whiskey. Going in there, lining up in these supermarkets and whatnot. 
and being able to actually give shout out to St. Mark Rayleigh's Bel Air <laughs> Total yeah. Wine, right? You know what I mean. Total but Wine, give, uh, Total but, Wine is is big on helping. Um, uh, Mark Wahlberg do his t- new tequila. Total Wine oh, okay. was big. Yeah, Mark, yeah, Mark, yeah. They're, they're, yeah know, so they 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 support they support guys like you. Total Wine. Guys. Yeah, man, it's it's incredible, and like we just appreciate we appreciate to have. Hey, that Bubba, out. I got to get this. I got to get this in. If any of these whiskey guys want to do a blind test, we'll put put our whiskey against Conor McGregor. Any of these guys that have their own whiskey, we'll do a blind test. Ten thousand dollars. We'll donate it to any uh, nonprofit. And see who see whose whiskey is the best. I want to see. We're going to donate their ten grand to our yeah. charity, That's right. Operation Packing Company, where we ship packages overseas to truth. I want to Every- see Bird. I want to see Bird take on Conor McGregor. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't taking on anybody like that. How I big? Hey, how big training. are no, you, I'm Bird? Drinking. How big? Are, how big are you? I can't tell. I can't size you up, Bob, when sitting down. Oh, about that big right there. How, you know t- what I mean? How, how, how tall? I try, I try to get in the way. I'm a guy that likes to get in the way of things. You know, yeah. people getting going. I'll try to get in the way and just. Now, if you and Tex ever been on the road, the road just it's 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 tough. It's a tough life sometimes, and you two get on each other's nerves, and you guys just go straight at it. Do you guys ever do it like brothers? Yeah, we went to jail in Wichita Falls, Texas, because we got in a fight at a gas station. Hold on, so you two, you <laughs> two fought each other in Wichita and went to jail. Yeah, who yeah. won? Who won the fight? We uh, both lost. We both took the L's on that one. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man, that was a cold night. Sleeping now, what in that the hell cell. were you? Now, what were you guys fighting over? Alcohol. Okay. Booze. Yeah. Started off, started off with a food fight, and then it went to a fist fight, and then next thing you know, Texas sheriffs were on our ass like like that. Yeah. Processed. I mean, I think we we're still chirping at each other in when we were getting processed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. At, at that so, point, you guys know you're going. You're both taking a ride. Huh? Who gets in most? Does, does who gets in the most trouble? Bird, bird, or Tex? To me, Tex, you look like you're a little more even. Key. Bird looks like he's a little bit wilder than you. Uh, I used to be. He used to be. I got married kid. though. I got to shout out to my wife. You know what I mean? She calmed me down. Yeah. I got married. Yeah, like dude, I like being home now. It's just that'll do, that'll that'll neuter a pimp in a minute, won't it, buddy? <laughs> yeah, right. Right. he's being humble. He's actually a fucking lunatic. <laughs> How about you? How about you, Tex? I'm, I'm, I got to steer the ship. Hang on a second. This guy. <laughs> hang on a second. This guy just went to his first rave in Cosmel, Cabo, Cabo, Cabo San Lucas. He's down in Mexico going to raves, bro. You know what I mean? Now, who's the guy that goes to the promoter and says, "Okay, time to settle up"? Who's the Gene? Sim- who's the Gene Simmons of the Moonshine Bandits? I've had. To, well, we I, got people that do that now. Yeah, I've had to go. In the that. past, he did it. I got us. No, my actions got us banned out of. Uh, Bird, did uh, you ever have to go back? Did Indiana? you ever have to go back, Bird, and say, "Listen, buddy, that's not what the numbers say. You're trying to screw oh, yeah. me out of like three G's, oh, bitch, yeah. and it ain't work." Because you know how, hey, you know how these slimy ass producers are. They're like, yeah. "Listen, you know, we really didn't sell that much beer, and the attendance oh, was down, and you know." Yeah, that- there's Indiana. There's actually in uh, Indiana. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the old armadillo. That place. Uh, I, I had to go in there and square them away in there, and then uh, another spot, in Joliet. The guys try to get us. Get Joliet, one over Illinois. Us. You know, you know, Elwood, Jake and Elwood. Jake Blues, and Elwood maybe, Blues you know from I mean? Joliet, Ella, Illinois. And that's, that's where the state that's, prison is. That's right, man. That's right. And uh, you know what? I had we had to take some we had to take some product off the shelves. <laughs> so and you, they didn't stop us. Was either you don't they, you're gonna pay us. We're gonna take product off the shelves. They don't pay us. We just take like the beer mirrors or whatever that looks cool. We oh, so if they short you, you guys just go behind the bar and start helping <laughs> yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we decorate our own bars. They better have bigger guns than we got, you know? That's all I'm saying. Who got, who got the most groupies between you two? Because yeah. you guys did have a lot oh, of groupie, groupies. Oh, we're Catholic boys. We, oh, we, yeah, we're right. Groupies. No, you we bunch of groupies. lying bastards. <laughs> no groupies. Uh, yeah, right. Right. No groupies. Yeah, write a song about You've that. You've seen you our like. videos. Yeah, exactly. You've seen our videos. There's I know. So pri- prior to marriage, when you guys are running a little bit hotter, a little bit looser, let's say like circa 07, 08, who who was tearing up the groupies, and what city has the best groupies? California. That's not a city. Uh, for, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a, I think you might have been as drunk as you were that one night. But I mean, Idaho. <laughs> I don't know, man. Just, how, mean, about te- how, about, how about Texas? I've always heard Texas had some some hotties. 
You know, I mean, uh, the beach, I mean, California got the best. I mean, the Beach Boys said that there's all these hotties all over the all over the country, but it all comes back to California girls. Yeah, yeah. Like, but, we, yeah, I mean, we had a song called Cali Girls. If you yeah. go back and listen, I mean, that was it. Well, I never yeah. seen you two shut up so fast that we start talking about groupies. <laughs> man, your guys' testosterone. Yeah, I got to go home tomorrow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, man. Well, let me note to self: if you want to shut Moonshine, ba- ba- just talk about groupies. They yeah. both just clam up like a bunch of little bitches. I think he's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I tell you what, though, it was like because I finally met my match with my wife. Like I could, I could get around any other relationship, but I got a girl now that's like. She'll take shit. She didn't know who I was when she met me. She didn't know any of that. You're so, saying is you she, can bamboozle all the other bitches, but you finally found one that called your ass out. That's <laughs> what you meant to say. Damn, damn, damn straight. Bro. Like every morning I have to wake He's up. He's scared morning. of her. He's scared uh, of her. Yeah, yeah. Every morning I got to check for advice from my dad. Right, exactly. <laughs> hey, so listen. Great to meet you guys. We got a lot of friends in common, and I cannot wait to do more stuff with you guys. You guys are so grounded and so down to earth and just regular dudes. By the way, you can go to moonshinebandits.com. You can go to buckedupwhiskey.com. You can go to the Twitter, the Instagram. Go to the YouTube. Watch some of their stuff. They got great videos, over 200 million views. And guys, with all you know, with anything new that you got or a bottle signing or anything like that, man, we'd love to help you. I mean, we we're we're huge fans, and we'll love we'd love yeah. to help you guys out. Bubba, yeah. we're gonna get, we're gonna send a case of whiskey over to you. Okay? All it's right, appreciate that. Yeah, and and yeah. uh, I'll have Lummy get a hold of your guys' address and your shirt sizes and stuff like that, and we'll send you guys a little Bubba Care Pack if we could. We love that. We love yeah, you that, bet, man. We love to wear it, support it, and Bubba yeah, Army, so. baby, Bubba Army. Well, you bet. text keep Birdman. Well, I guess you don't got to worry about him. He's all married and stuff. But text, you know, <laughs> text keep Birdman out of trouble if you can, my friend. I'll try, brother. All right, yeah, hey, man. Good talking to you. We'll keep playing your music, and uh, man, appreciate you. appreciate y'all. Yeah, thank, thank you guys. guys. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. All, All right, right now, thank you. Yeah, man. See uh, Moonshine Bandits. Uh, you can get anything Moonshine Bandit related by going to moonshinebandits uh, dot com. Their whiskey, I guess, is the. I can't. That's what I'm most excited for. Let me oh. just getting some of their whiskey. <laughs> oh, me too. I tell you that bird, that uh, that bird man. He he he. I don't know, man. I don't know about that dude. <clears throat> <laughs> he looks pretty rugged. He looks a little right yeah, now, yeah, yeah. I think God, you know whipped. what? Thank God his wife came in there and, and calmed him down a little bit because he was fixing to go to prison. I promise you. That. Sounds like uh-huh. it. Yeah, he he's a hot <laughs> mess. He really, really is. Listen, we let me get into some words and uh, much love to the Moonshine Bandits and Lummy will go come back with their new single with the Buck Cherry guy, Wild. Okay, perfect. Believe it or not, Believe it or not. absolutely not. Everything you heard about him has been toned down for easier public acceptance. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show returns after these words.